Hello guys, today we're going to be replacing the EGT sensor in this 2014 cruise diesel. Now there's three on this car. This is number one, number two is right there, and number three is uh, down below, right there on the exhaust. You can see it on the top there. So I have a check engine light on, and I believe it's this EGT sensor here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. It's a 17 millimeter hex. So you need an open end wrench to get down in there. It's a little tight, but you can get in there. And then the wire here. You'll have to undo it from that clip there, I already did. This one here just snaps right off. Comes out. And uh, it's tucked in this one here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and remove this connector. This red clip pushes back first. Once that's back, that black uh, tab on top right here. I'll push that down at the same time pull back and this part here will separate from this piece here. So go ahead and get your finger under there. It's a little tight but slide it out like that. Then grab on the top and bottom here like this, pull this out. Now, this whole thing is ready to come out. And we can go ahead and get our 17 millimeter wrench and loosen that up. I'm going to position my wrench over top of this nut here. Okay, and just a little force, break it loose. Should be able to loosen it by hand. It's a little tight to get in there. There we go. Now it's a good idea to do this when the car is cold because you'll burn your hand if not this is right on the exhaust okay we go and slide this out There, sensor's out. Let me go ahead and pull it up through here. Uh, it's got some soot on it, but I tried to clean this first. And I put it back in, and my check engine light still stayed on. Now, through two codes. Um... I don't know. I guess it's junk. Alright, here's the new one. And by the way, the part number is actually on here. Hope you guys can see that there. No, maybe not. See that GM part number? Five 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 eight one zero three five. I'll write the number down in the description so you guys can have that. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this one back in. Slide the new one in here.
Yeah, it's a little tricky to get it started in the hole there, but uh, once it's in, you go ahead and start the threads. Not much room in here, so it takes a while to thread this in here. Can't really move my hand that much. This sensor was about $45 or $46. I got it on eBay, brand new. Okay, once you get it. Snug, go ahead and get your wrench on there. Tighten it the rest of the way. Okay, nice and tight. I'll go ahead and uh, tuck these wires back into their spots here. First one is that one straight ahead. We'll do that one first. Okay, that's in there like that. Okay, the wire's there, there, and here. Lastly, the connector here. Now, if you look at this end, see how this part is pointed? Well, that goes up. So, you go ahead and you slide this into this bracket here. So it snaps in just like that. Take this other end, slide it in. the click push the red to clip up it's good nice and snug now hopefully my check engine light uh, goes off and uh, that's it thanks for watching guys have a good day